Let's do it. My name is Abdallah. Welcome to it. In case you guys haven't seen any of my content or my booth right over that way, you guys can head on over to YouTube and uh, easily hit that subscribe button. Search up Abdallah Smash and become a brand new uh, member or fan of my channel. But today we have the very daunting task of going through over 200 different Mario games. And we're going to rank them on our tier lists on the side over here, which is going to be so much fun. Now, I was chit-chatting with you guys a little earlier, and I really like what I'm hearing because a lot of you guys have a lot of opinions on certain video games. Which Mario Party is the best? Which old-school Mario game is the best? This one's going to be a really fun one then. And there's a, a big uh, variance of old-school gamers and like more recent gamers over here. The age is so cool to see. So anyway, uh, here's what we're going to do. Uh, don't worry about um, suggesting anything out loud. Don't worry about that. I'll be using a voting system of thumbs ups. Okay, so here's how we're going to practice. In case you guys have never seen a tier list before, this is exactly what it looks like. S tier is going to be the absolute best. Of course, we're going to have a lot of you guys thinking that there is going to be multiple games that go in the very best one. And that's okay. We'll eliminate them at the very end of this. Now, of course, um, the A tier is kind of the same thing, but not as good. And then it moves downwards and downwards. And then we're just going to say E tier is going to be the bottom tier altogether. If we really, really hate a game, that we're going to wipe it off the existence of the world. And I know that some of you guys know some games. All right, hands up if you have a game that you just really, really don't like that should be banished to the shadow realm. All right, What's, what game don't you like? Mario Bros. Lost Levels. Oh, fascinating. We'll talk about that soon. All right, cool. You guys can put your hands down. So here we go. We're going to practice. Um, I'm going to do my first nomination, which is Super Mario RPG. Um, that was a game. This is a game where we actually uh, had a remake of it on Nintendo Switch. This was my first RPG I ever played back on Super Nintendo, and I feel that since they remade it just last year on Nintendo Switch, they added a whole bunch of things. I think this votes for the best game of all time. Now, here's how we're going to do it. If you agree with me, for S tier Mario RPG, go ahead and throw a thumbs up. That's it. Don't give me thumbs down. Give me thumbs up nice and proud. So then now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a look, do a little percentage of how many vote for this. Big and proud. We got a 2, 4, 6, 8, 10. Cool. Now, what do you guys think about Mario RPG for A tier? Thumbs up. Okay. How about for B tier? All right. Uh, Mario RPG for C tier. Okay. D. And no one thinks that's for E. Okay, so that is considered uh, an E tier placement based off of a majority of you guys doing that. You guys get how this goes right now? So now I have a limited amount of time, about like 30 minutes or so, in order to go through 200 of these games. You guys down for it? Yeah. All right. Wish me luck, man. Wish me luck. We're going to start off with my very, very first, uh, very first game that I absolutely love over here. This one. How many guys have uh, seen this one before? There we go, Mario's early years, preschool fun. This is great, dude. This is easy S tier placement. We're gonna go through the education Mario games really quick. Now, usually the fans in the audience don't really know these, it's fine. Uh, it's more for like a laugh, right? Ha ha, I didn't know Mario actually teaches shapes, colors, and sounds <laughs> on this game. All right, we're gonna put this in the bottom tier, yeah? No one cares about this game? All right, great. I mean, it's not going to hold the light to Mario 64, right? Yeah. Yeah, here we go. Don't worry about it. Here we go. How about this one? If you, if you liked Mario Teaches Shapes, what do you think about Mario teaching letters, man? Yeah, dude, look at this kid holding the letter B. Just like Link picking up a, uh, like an item in the game. Uh, so this is really funny. I like to show it, but it's one of those like educational games. So uh, we're going to throw it in bottom tier because I'm reading the room right now. We don't have to worry about that. But let's actually talk about another one, which some of you guys quoted earlier. Mario teaches typing. How many of you guys have actually played this on a CD-ROM, though? Really, though? I don't know. Did you? What, I don't even know if you know what a CD-ROM is, man. <laughs> Just looking at your, uh, your age over here. So uh, way back in the day, we had these, uh, these disks, and we put them in computers. Yeah, believe it or not. And we typed, and we learned how to type with that. None of you guys have ever played this. It's kind of a meme at this point. Mario teaches typing. So of course, educational going into bottom tier, because that's just what it is. Don't worry about it. Hey, we're not taking questions. I got to roll through this. Sorry, friends. Keep your hands down, and we're only voting. All right. A game that you might like is going to be Mario Paint. Yeah, we know this one. How many of you guys have uh, seen this one? A little show of hands? Yeah, you've played this before. This one's Super Nintendo, and it was really cool. It came with a, a peripheral mouse 
that you can actually point and click, and you can play little fly swatter games. You can paint. You can do all that fun stuff. Uh, uh, who's super passionate about Mario Paint that thinks it belongs in S tier? No, BD. Okay, great. I'm going to give it a D tier placement because it doesn't really hold a light. What do we think? Yeah? Yeah, D tier is great. Okay, good. Sorry, man. I'm reading the room when none of you guys voted for the S tier placement. I'm going to throw it down there into the trash. Sorry, man. All right, we're moving on. We're moving on. So one of the other one of the other things that I like to talk about is Mario sports games. How many of you guys like sports games? Yeah? Cool, cool. Somewhat. We'll see. We got a lot of different ones, so let's knock them out. So here's the thing. I'm going to call on one of you guys who's the most passionate about the title that I put over here, and you're going to claim that title. If that title that you claimed wins the entire tournament or the S tier and becomes the best game, then I have a prize for you over at my booth. That sounds cool, but you only get to claim one game, so be super passionate about it. All right, here we go. How many guys like uh, Mario and Sonic games? Ooh, this one's interesting. Now, I'm not going to go through all the different titles. Too bad. We don't have time for that. So Mario and Sonic at the Olympic Games, who wants to claim this one as in this is my S tier placement? None of you guys. Are you sure? Okay. Guy in yellow over here wants S tier placement. You guys vote S tier for this is every Mario and Sonic lumped together, okay? We're not going to go through the differences. For S tier, thumbs up. You didn't even vote for it. Okay, now you did. <laughs> All right. The person who claimed it didn't even vote for it. A tier. B tier. C tier. D tier. Bottom tier. All right. Ironically enough, I, we got a lot more for B tier on that one. That was good. Okay. Fascinating. Just kind of uh, seeing what you guys are into. Uh, how many of you guys are fans of golf? Golf? You guys play golf? I don't know. Mario Golf, right? Now, remember, with these titles, we're going to do all of the sequels in between, okay? I don't need to hear that Mario Golf Toadstool Tour is the better one. No, I don't need to hear that nonsense. So here we go. Who likes all the Mario Golfs that wanna cl wants to claim this for top tier if it wins? You guys don't like golf. Great. So that being said, I think I'm going to slot it into C or D. What do you think? You guys like C? All right, C. What about D? Okay, okay. I'm feeling you guys over here. You guys don't like golf. Got it. Hey, you know what? There's a lot of games that are not that great. Uh, what do we think about Mario Tennis, though? Mario Tennis? Never played it. I'm seeing bewildered faces. Wow. Okay. This is like, this is like Waluigi's debut game, Mario Tennis on N64. All right, who really loves all the Mario Tennis games? Nobody. Great. Uh, let's do C tier. Okay. Okay. How about how about B tier? Really? Okay. C tier. D tier. Wow. You, okay. So some of you like Mario Tennis. Fascinating. All right. Here we go. We're moving on. We're moving on. Uh, no need to tell me your life story of Mario Tennis and how you played it. We've already voted and we got to move. Here we go. Mario Strikers. So this one's fun. I have, some, I have some thoughts on Mario Strikers. There are some games in this series that are good. Some of them are very bad. Uh, the Wii one is arguably the best one. So here we go. We're going to move in. Who likes the Mario Strikers and wants to claim it for S tier? Blank stairs. All right. Uh, we're going to throw this into C tier. B again? All right. B tier? All right. Cool, man. You guys like this game, apparently. But not enough for A tier. Fascinating. You guys are deciding where all these place, okay? Uh, I heard someone earlier really likes the baseball genre, right? Okay, Mario Baseball. This one's always a funny one. I really love the concept of having uh, a Goomba. You guys know Goombas? I love a Goomba at bat, you know, somehow holding a baseball bat. It's really funny. Um, <laughs> so here we go. Uh, Super Mario Baseball. Who wants to claim the Mario Baseball as S tier? All right, I know you do. You have to. All right, we're voting for Mario Baseball is S tier. Nobody, not even you. Yikes, man. A tier. Okay, B tier. Really? Why? C tier. Okay, D tier. All right, I guess it's going into B. All right, okay, I like this, I like this. Uh, we're moving on. I'm not going to do the collaboration games, Mario Sports Superstars 3-on-3. Three three. We're not going to go through that, sorry. We got literally 20 minutes, and I got to go through everything. All right. How many of you guys fans of puzzle games? Puzzle games for Mario puzzle games. You are. What's your favorite puzzle game? Just give me a Mario puzzle game, man. Forget it. You lose. You lose. You think too hard. Dr. Mario. 
Dr. Mario. Okay, cool. Who likes Dr. Mario? Oh, yeah, I don't care about Dr. Luigi. We're not talking about that. All right, Dr. Mario, who is passionate about this one that wants to claim it for S tier? Are you sure? You're positive. Okay, you get this for S tier. All right, thumbs up for Dr. Mario in an S tier game. Two, four, five, six, seven. Hold on. Really proud. Don't give me none of this, like, little stuff. Give me it really proud. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight people. All right, A tier. Uh, four. Okay, that's a lot more in A tier. All right, that's an A tier placement. Very close for the S tier placement. Puzzle games, puzzle games. Uh, let's see, this one's a weird one. I classify it as puzzle. Hotel Mario. <laughs> this is such a weird boo. Why are we booing it? Why are we booing this? Okay, this one is really weird because it's like Mario and there's like hotel room doors and he like opens the doors, like un uninvited. It's definitely a meme. We're going to just erase this off the existence of the earth, yeah? Yeah, let's get rid of it. Yeah, we don't, we don't like it. This game's boo-boo. All right, here we go. Uh, I'm going to tell you a little anecdote. Um, how many guys remember Blockbuster Video? Okay. Yeah, or video rental shops, right? Sometimes if you had good grades, you can go over there with your straight A's and they'll give you a rental per a good grade. You, you guys remember doing that somewhat? All right, I remember when I was a kid and I had good grades and I wanted to play this game. And I used one of my hard-earned A's for Mario's Time Machine. I'm like, dude, I love Back to the Future. I love time travel. This is great. But this game actually is like a history teaching game with where you learned about the Declaration of Independence. Abe Lincoln is literally on the cover. Beethoven, uh, a whole bunch of weird stuff. So long story short, I got hoodwinked because Mario was on here. So it was like an educational, weird, side-scroller, puzzly game. Um, who, is the, uh, who is the most passionate about Mario's Time Machine that wants this one? Can, are you okay with, that, with uh, erasing this one from existence? Can we, can we trash it? All right, we're getting it out of here. We are going to pretend that it never happens. And I'm never going to get my A back, man. I'm never going to get it back. I wasted that. All right. Any of you guys care about uh, the Mario versus Donkey Kong games with, like, the little mini lemmings dudes? Yeah. Okay. Okay. Well, do you want it? Do you want it for S tier? Do you want it? Okay. You don't like it then. Too bad. Too bad. Sorry, man. All right. Who wants this one for, like, what? C tier? No. Even lower? D tier? C tier? C is okay? We good with C? All right, cool. We'll take C. It's a weird game. I don't like any of those games, but this is all you guys. All right, how about any other puzzle games that come to mind that you guys care about? Mario Picross? You're the only one that knows who that is. All right, here we go. Mario's Picross because you wanted it. All right, you want this for S tier? Goomba hat? No, you don't. You just named one. Well, too bad. All right, D tier for Mario Picross. You guys don't care about this? Great. Cool. All right, we're moving on. We're moving on. Guys, I have like 15 minutes to get this done, and we didn't even talk about Mario 64 yet. So I don't care about any nominations unless I'm like explicitly asking you. Okay, how about this? How about this game right here? Uh, we're going to go board games. Mario board games. Yeah, yeah. Okay, this is the jam right here. This guy was literally reading my mind with the, the best Mario board game that you probably have never played. Hands up if you've played this game before. All right, just the two of us, man. You know what's up. This one right here. So imagine Mario Party meets Monopoly meets the stock exchange. It's actually super good, right? So you can buy stocks into, like, you know, the blue area over here, and the stock prices raise and drop. Dragon Quest characters are in it, um, such as Slime. It's actually made by Square Enix, which is, the, you know, the maker of all the Dragon Quest and Final Fantasy games. Super cool. You can download an app literally on the App Store and play it. Um, but this is a Wii game, so uh, yeah, I don't think we're going to get this anywhere. It's just me and him that knows it, so I'm going to just throw it into C tier because you guys should play it. All right, here we go. How many of you guys are fans of Mario Party? There we go. Okay. Now, this one's a big one. I'm not going to go granular and talk about how Mario Party 6 is better than 7 or 5 is better than 8. We're not going to do that. All Mario Party into one game. Yes? One category? Who's the most passionate about Mario Party that you want this one? Who's the most passionate? Give me passion. Give me passion. All right, fine. That's a little bit more passion with, like, a fully extended arm. All right, great. So you're going to take Mario Party for S tier. We're going to vote for it. Friends, Mario Party for S tier. 
Okay, it's unanimous. Good job. There's an S-tier placement. Round of applause. Good. We're moving out of the party genre. We're not going to talk about the top 100 or anything like that. Sorry. All right, friends. Um, this one's fun, and we do have time for it. I would love to do the racing genre, and I don't, I don't want to group together all of the Mario Karts because they're all very, very different, at least more different than Mario Parties. Who's old school that likes Super Mario Kart? You do. Okay. That's awesome. It's probably the only one in the audience over here. It's a tough one to go back to after eight deluxes here, man. I'm telling you. Okay, I'm going to give you the nomination for S tier. Uh, S tier for Super Mario Kart, the one that started it all, man. Really? A tier. Really? Oh, rough. B tier. Really? B tier? That's generous. C tier. Yeah, it really wasn't that good. But it was the first one. So, like, you got to give it some. Give it some. Okay. I'll tell you what the best Mario Kart is. Objectively, it's Mario Kart 64. It is the best one. Here's the reason why. Mario Kart 64 is the best one because there's no limits on where you can go in the levels. You can, if there's a wall over there, you can jump over it. You, can't, you can go backwards. You can hang out. Lakitu's not going to pick you up and put you back on the, on the track. True creativity. Speedrunners have broken this game in so many different ways. But that's okay. It's, a, it's, my, it's my suggestion. It's all on you guys. Who's the most passionate for 64 Mario Kart? You are. Great. Standing up over there. Uh, S tier, Mario Kart. 64. Wow. This is the audience. Okay. You guys are a bunch of Mario Kart Wii fans, aren't you? Mario Kart Double Dash fans. Okay. Mario Kart 8 Deluxe fans. Yeah, maybe. Okay. A tier for Mario Kart. 64. B tier. B? C? Really? Okay. Everyone vote one more time. A tier. Okay. Yeah, A tier. That, that's pretty much it. Okay. Good placement. Um, do we care about Mario Kart Super Circuit? Yeah, you don't even know what that is. It's a remake. It's a remake of the Super Nintendo one on Game Boy Advance. Yeah, we're not putting it up there. Sorry, you don't care about it. Double Dash. Okay, let's go Double Dash. Here we go. Double Dash, friends. Uh, who wants this for S tier? All right. Uh, yes, you. Yes, you got it. You're going to take it. Double Dash for S tier. This one was on GameCube. Uh, you had two characters on one cart, which is super fun. In case your mom or dad didn't really play or your brother or sister didn't play, you could have them uh, throw the items for you, right? Okay, uh, S tier for Double Dash. That's a lot. Hold on, hold on. That, that's really a lot. Really vote high so I can see this, friends. Uh, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. This is a lot. Okay, cool. You're going to take it. Awesome. Good placement. Anyone care about Mario Kart DS? DS. Uh, this is questionable. I don't even know if I want to put it on there. All right, here we go. Friends, Mario Kart DS. This one was the very first time you could play online. It had the microphone availability where you can blow up your balloons in balloon, bla balloon battle. Kind of cool. Rob the Robot was in it. Very fun. All right, S tier. Anyone? A couple people. All right, A tier. Mm, okay, maybe. Uh, B tier? Okay, cool. It did have a mission mode. All right, we're going to give it A tier. Uh, here we go. This one's very, very popular, Mario Kart Wii. A. A lot of people like this one, right? And you're looking at the generations, right? I'm looking at how old some of you guys are. Maybe you grew up with this one. Mario Kart Wii, who wants this one? Who wants claim of that one? Yeah, you? Great. You got it with the glasses over there. Mario Kart Wii with the Funky Kong and the Bowser bike and the Wii wheel. Here we go for S tier. Who wants it? Or S tier, all of you guys. That's four. Maybe eight? Eight-ish? Okay, how about A tier? Okay. Uh, ooh, this, ooh. Okay, let me see. All right, everyone, you have two votes. It's S tier or A tier. I want everyone voting. S tier for it. Okay, that's about like eight or nine. And then A tier. Much more. Okay, great. Yikes, man. Usually we get like huge applause on Mario Kart Wii. This is interesting. Anyone care about Mario Kart 7 on 3DS? Uh, I mean, Honey Queen was a, a playable character. They bumped Lu Waluigi out. Um, this one is interesting. Who wants this one for S tier? No? Okay. Judging on you guys, Mario Kart 7, we're going to put that into uh, B tier, yeah? Yeah. Yeah, B tier is great. We're going B. All right, friends. Sorry. Here we go. Mario Kart 8 Deluxe. Boom. That's the one we all want, right? Yeah, this one's a good one. Booster Course Pass uh, has really, really updated physics from the Wii U version, um, and it's great. Who wants this one? Who wants to claim it? Yeah? Uh, with the Grogu up front. Great. You got it. All right. Here we go. Mario Kart 8 Deluxe for S tier. All right, give it to me. Oh, that's, that's universal. Good job. That's an S tier placement. All right. I'm going to show you guys a Mario Kart game that is going to be better than 8 Deluxe. Little did you know. It is Mario Kart Tour on mobile. 
Well, you, do we don't like this or we do like this? You guys don't like micro. You guys don't like microtransactions of like five dollars. You don't like gambling on characters. Oh man! All right, all right. We're we're gonna put this. We're gonna put this on the bottom. Yeah. Or how about how about a little higher up? Yeah. We're gonna go D tier with this one. Okay, great. How about this? This one's a fun one. How many guys have ever heard of the? I'm gonna I'm gonna put them all together. Uh, the arcades. Yeah, the arcades, the Mario Kart arcades, right? You go to Dave and Buster's, you put a couple quarters in there, and you play with your friends, right? Do we really care about it, though? That's like pay to win. You were just saying you don't like microtransactions, but this game is literally microtransactions the game. All right, I'm putting this in the D tier. Sorry, man. What? C tier? B as in boy? You guys are nuts. Make up your mind. All right, here we go. A tier. B tier. Why? C tier. Okay, fine. We're good with C. All right, we'll take it. You guys are weird. All right, here we go. We're moving on. One cool game, Mario Kart Live Home Circuit. You guys ever see this one before? <laughs> this one is like, uh, it's like almost like a remote control physical car. You use your Nintendo Switch to steer, and it like moves around your house. I have a, I have a video on my channel where I accidentally run over my cats. It's great. It's great. All right, so no one really cares about this one. I'm putting it, uh, I'm putting it into D because you guys don't have it. It was like $150. Don't whine. No, no, stop it. We're done, guys. I have like 10 minutes left. Calm your, calm your, <laughs> calm your shorts. Here we go. Uh, we're gonna do RPGs now. Mario RPGs. Okay. How about this game, Mario and Luigi? I'm putting them all together. This one is cool. I love this game. Yeah, Mario and Luigi. This one includes Inside Story, Superstar Saga, Paper Jam, all of them. Who who's passionate about this one? Uh, yeah, yeah, in the back with uh, holding up a game or something. I don't know what that is. Cool. <laughs> Believe it or not, it's Mario and Luigi the game he's holding up. All right, uh, S tier for Mario and Luigi entire franchise. Friends, <clears throat> two, four, six, eight, ten, eleven ish. Okay, A tier. Okay, S tier placement. Good job. Round of applause. Good job, good job. <clears throat> All right, friends. Uh, more Mario RPGs. Uh, we're going to talk about the entire Paper Mario. Okay, this includes everything. All of them. Thousand Year Door. All of them together. Paper Mario. Friends, who's the most passionate about Paper Mario? All right, you. Right over here in the gray sweatshirt. All right, here we go. All of them together. The Paper Mario franchise for S tier. What are we voting? Two, four. Six. Yeah, that's, that's unanimous. Good job. Another S tier placement. So I'm, I'm noticing that you guys like the RPGs. This is great. You guys have good taste. Uh, let's talk about Mario and uh, Rabbids Kingdom Battle. This one was a really good RPG made by Ubisoft. They did an amazing job with the Mario RP. Uh, and the Rabbids were super silly and kind of cute. Who wants this one the most with the uh, bow tie? Bendy, yeah? Okay, great. Mario uh, and Rabbids Kingdom Battle for S tier. One, two, three, four, five, six. A tier. It's all of them together, man. All of them together. Uh, a tier? How about B tier? All right, we're going to go A tier placement. Awesome. Good job. So that's going to be all of our RPGs that we're going to talk about. Uh, so we're going to move on with the next ones. Ooh, this one's interesting. I like the idea of Mario platformers, right? I usually like to start out with platformers, but I like to get the meme stuff out of the way. So this one's going to be really divisive, and it's going to split the room. Where do we put Super Mario Bros? Ooh. Where do we put it? Where do we put it, right? You have to think about it, right? This is like one of this is like the one of the first Mario games, friends. And it is it's going to be really interesting. All right, friends, who's the most passionate about the very one of the very first Mario Bros? Uh, with the red shirt over here. Great. All right, so friends, you guys are going to decide, does it hold a weight to Mario Kart or, you know, all the Mario parties? You guys decide. Or is it mid, right? Here we go. Take a look. S tier, friends, vote. One, two, three, four, five. Okay. A tier. Okay, that's really good. That's a good placement. Good job, good job. That one's a really hard one, right? You get your old school gamers that absolutely love it. It's, it really paved the path for all the games that we have today, right? Um, speaking of games that paved the path for today, not this one. Not this one. Mario Bros. 2, do we care about this? Yeah, Doki Doki Panic. This one, um, in a nutshell, this game was um, the uh, video games are too hard for the West. 
right? That's exactly what happened. Uh, Japan came out with a true sequel to Mario Bros. Uh, called The Lost Levels, but when they came to localize it, it was too hard for all of us in the United States. So they said, hey, you know what? Slap the Mario characters on top of this game called Doki Doki Panic, and let's ship it out. So that's kind of what this one was. Anyone passionate about this one? No one? Okay, cool. Hey, don't worry about the stories, man. We don't have stories. This is not an um, actually. This is not an anecdotal panel. We got to go through these. I'm going to throw this into D, okay? You guys good with it? Thanks. All right, here we go. I, trust me, I know you guys know a lot of trivia about this, but that's okay. I got to go. We're moving. Here we go. Super Mario Bros. 3. Who's the most passionate about this one? Yeah, you are. Okay, in the, in the pink hoodie. Sure, you got it. This one was a really good one. Honestly, uh, stands the test of time as one of the greater platformers. Okay, S tier for Mario 3. That's a lot of you guys. Cool, we'll take it, we'll take it. All right, all right, moving on to Mario side-scroller games. I'm trying to go chronological order. Some of you guys might know this one. Super Mario World, introduction to Yoshi. Yeah? Okay, cool. Uh, who wants S tier for this? Okay, yeah, you do, since you don't have one yet. Great, S tier, Mario World, thumbs up. Great, cool, we'll put it in there, awesome, love that, good job. Uh, do we care about crying baby Mario? Yeah. What? Yeah. One person does, no one else, no one else does. Uh, you want S tier for it? Yeah. Okay, you want S tier for it. This is Yoshi's Island, crying baby Mario, you get hit, Ma Mario cries and you play the game on mute. Or you get good and you don't get hit. All right, here we go, who wants it? Uh, for S tier though, S tier. Yeah, there's only like two people, man. A tier, no, B tier, uh, C tier. All right, fine. You could have it on A tier. That's great. Interesting, interesting. You guys are great. All right, let's do this. Let's do this. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm going to go into, we're not going to talk about Lost Levels. Um, well, let's do something more recent. Uh, how about the new Super Mario Bros. games? Yeah? This one is fun. This one is like on the Wii. I'm going to do all the new Super Mario Bros. together. This one is uh, where you pick up your, your little buddies and you like throw them over the place. Yoshi's on there. They had some cool power-ups. Anyone care about this for S tier? Yeah, you got it with the uh, with the hat over here. S tier, thumbs up. A tier. B tier. Okay, either give me A or S. A tier. Give me S tier. Okay, we're going into S. That's cool. You guys like that one. Cool placement. And we are speeding through these, friends. I'm looking at time, and I got only a couple more minutes, and we haven't touched the 3D platformers yet. So what do we think about the new Mario Wonder game? Did we like that? Yeah. Do we like Mario Bros. Wonder? Okay, some of you guys did. That's really fun. Yeah, you're going to take it? Okay, in the yellow. You can have it. Uh, this one was fun. I think the developers were on some sort of drugs or mushrooms when they came up with this one. There was a lot of weird things happening in it, but it was actually really cool. Uh, Mario Bros. Wonder for S tier, friends. Okay, this is like about seven or eight. How about A tier? Yeah, that's a lot more for A tier. A tier placement. Good job. All right, we're going to do this one. Mario Maker. All of the Mario Makers. This one's interesting, right? Where do you place this? Because this one can make Mario 3. This one can make Mario Bros. 1. It can make new Super Mario Bros. Where do we put it? Who's the most passionate about Mario Maker? Yes, you are. You got it. Mario Maker for top tier. The, uh, the concept that you can play anyone's levels. You can upload levels. You can play levels from all over the world. The game that never ends. You can make music. You can do all sorts of things. All right, loud, uh, loud and proud with this one. Here we go. Two, four, six, eight. Oh, that's a lot. How about B tier? Or sorry, A tier, A tier. Yeah, this is an S tier placement. Good job. I mean, like objectively, that's a really good choice. All right, side scrollers, cool. I'm not even going to ask you which ones we're missing because we don't have time. Too bad. Uh, we're moving on to the last and final area. Here it comes, friends. This is 3D platformers, okay? We're going to start off soft. We're going to start off soft with... Luigi's Mansion, ooh. Consider it a Mario game. Yeah, why not? Mario's in it. I'm gonna call all the, all the Luigi's Mansions in this one, okay? Who wants this one for S tier? Goomba Hat, you got it. Goomba Hat wants Luigi's Mansion for S tier. Do we agree, thumbs up? All three Luigi's Mansion titles. Okay, how about A tier? Yeah, that's a lot more for A tier, cool, cool. Okay, taking a look at it, other 3D platformers. We're gonna start off with, uh, yeah, let's do Mario 64, yeah? This one, historically, one of the very first 3D platformers. People still play it. They speed run it. They can beat the entire game without collecting a single star. Uh, really, really super cool to see. All right, friends, who is the most passionate for 64 Mario? Do you already have one, though? No. Yeah, you don't have one? Okay, fine. Yeah, he does. Re no one's passionate about Mario 64 that wants to claim this. This is weird. Okay, are we putting it into S tier? 
Okay, how about A tier? B tier? Okay, uh, C tier? Don't yell at me. Yell at the Turn around and yell at them. D tier? What? Okay, it's either A or S. You guys all vote. A tier. Okay. B, uh, C, uh, sorry, sorry. S tier. Top tier. Top tier. Okay, this is interesting. Ooh, man. I'm going to put it in. I'm going to put it in A based on you guys. All right. Hey, no worries. You know what? That's cool because we're going to go next in line for Sunshine. Do we care about Sunshine? Really? Okay, he's standing up. He wants to claim Sunshine. This is your jam. Sunshine's an interesting one for me. I like the physics. I like how beautiful it is. I don't like that Mario's so dependent on Flood, though, right? Like with the hover, he can't even throw a punch in this game. Uh, anyway, Mama Peach is in there, too, so let's do it. Uh, Super Mario Sunshine for S tier, really high. This is like six or seven people. Uh, a tier, okay. Uh, B tier, whoa, that's a B tier placement, friends. Okay, well, some people like it and some people don't. It's all right. All right, we're moving on. Uh, historically over here, give me, give me both Mario Galaxies. I'll give this to you. This one's cool. Mario Galaxy 1 and 2. 2 introduces Yoshi uh, and uh, Rosalina's origin story, right? Kind of cool. Who's most passionate for Mario Galaxy? Yeah, you are. You can have it. Great. Mario Galaxy for S tier. Ooh, wow, that's a lot. That's a lot of you guys. That's both Mario Galaxies. We're taking it. Good job. All right, friends, here we go with the last game that I'm going to put. No, 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 I've got two. I've got two. Uh, we're going to do Mario Odyssey. This one's a fun one, man. New Donk City. We had Cappy. We had all the fun kingdoms. 999 moons. Really, really cool. Uh, yeah, I love this one. Uh, who's the most passionate for Mario Odyssey that wants it? Who didn't get one? Who didn't get one? Yeah, did you get one? No, you got one before. Yeah, you didn't get one with the, with the lanyard and the gray shirt. Yeah, you. Great. Cool. Okay, friends. Super Mario Odyssey for the top tier. That's unanimous. You guys love that game. Cool. Okay, friends, uh, we have one more kind of like action platformer game, and that's going to be Super Smash Brothers. Ooh, this is going to be all the Smash Bros. This one's going to be Melee that you grew up in high school with. It's going to be Brawl, Subspace Emissary. We don't talk about Smash 4, but we do like Ultimate. We like Smash Bros. Ultimate. So who wants all of the Smash Bros. games together? Okay, you can have it. You are standing up. All right. All right, all the Smash Bros. games, the party games, you bring your friends over and hang out, and you beat them up, knock them off the stage. Super Smash Bros. for S tier? Okay, unanimous, great. All right, friends, here we go. Now is the hard part. We are right at time, and I've got a very hard job to do. I have to go through and eliminate all of the S tiers until there's one of them, and I'm going to need you guys to do it, okay? Here's how it's going to work. We're going to put one game versus another, and you guys are going to cheer for it. You guys are going to stand up. You're going to yell. You're going to really fight for the game that you want. You guys with me? Okay, so here's how it's going to go. I'm going to go, and it's going to go in line. It's going to go Mario RPG versus all of Mario Party. Those of you guys that want Mario RPG, stand and yell. Those of you guys that want um, Mario Party, stand and yell. You guys got it? Okay, cool. Here we go. Round one, elimination. Mario RPG versus Mario Party. Let's hear it for Mario RPG. Wow, that's sad. You're lucky this is the first round of you guys practicing. Mario Party. All right, fine. That's my favorite game, but you can have it. I mean, it's really hard, right? It's like, yeah, that's really hard. That's all the Mario Parties. Okay, check this out. Mario Parties versus... Double Dash. Ooh, what are you gonna vote for? Yeah, you better figure it out. That's not. You guys are doing this, man. All right, all Mario parties, go. Okay, Double Dash, go. Mario parties, man. Okay, okay, this one's a tough one. This one's Mario Kart 8 Deluxe versus all the Mario parties, man. All right, here we go. Let's hear it for Mario parties. Okay, okay, Mario Kart 8 Deluxe. Yeah, I think 8 Deluxe wins this one. This one's really good. But I want you to get so loud that all the people over here playing like Street Fighter or whatever, they turn around and hear you, okay? Great, cool. Sorry, Mario Party. 8 Deluxe wins. We're moving on. Ooh, 8 Deluxe versus the Mario and Luigi franchise. This is interesting. You got an online multiplayer game with multiple people versus, a, you know, one RPG. Let's hear from Mario Kart 8 Deluxe. <laughs> Two people... Uh, Mario and Luigi franchise. 
Really? Some of you guys aren't even cheering, man. You guys sleeping over here? What the heck, man? All right, we're going to do this a show of hands because you guys are being a little little quiet today. All right, uh, Mark Hardy Deluxe, show of hands. Yeah. <laughs> Mario and Luigi series. Wow, okay, there we go, the Mario and Luigi series. These are the quiet uh, at-home gamers that just like, like to play their one-player game. <laughs> Love that. Mario and Luigi series versus Paper Mario series. Ooh, that's pretty divisive, right? All right, let's hear it from the Mario and Luigi series. Loud and proud. Yeah. Loud and proud. Get loud, get loud, get loud. Okay, uh, Paper Mario series. Yeah, yeah okay, that's what I'm, See, that's the energy I want. Learn from it, okay? Learn from it, friends. That's great. Ma Paper Mario series versus Mario 3. Ooh, this is an easy choice. Get out of here. Paper Mario series. Let's hear it. Go. Yeah, yeah. Mario 3, go. Really? Did Mario 3 just beat all Paper Mario games? I'm sad for you guys in the previous uh, round who cheered for Paper Mario. Yikes, man. Just like that, it's eliminated. Here we go. Mario 3 versus Mario World. This is objective. I think there's one clear winner. You guys choose it. Mario 3. Mario World. Okay, great. Cool, Mario World. Get it. Now remember, Mario World versus New Super Mario Bros. series. That's interesting. Better graphics, right? Oh, sorry. Did Mario 3 win? No, Mario World won. Yeah, that's right. Okay, Mario World. Let's hear it. Okay, all the new Super Mario Bros. games. Go. No way, man. I see this demographic here, man. We got the, uh, the older generation a little bit louder than all you young guys, right? You better stand up and yell, dude. When it's your game, get up here, man. I want to see you do a backflip. Yeah, do a backflip. And then you'll automatically win. Oh, you're not that elastic. Okay, here we go. Uh, we have Super Mario World versus Mario Maker. This is objective, friends. There's an objective winner, but you guys choose it. Super Mario World. Super Mario Maker. Okay, there we go. That's, that's objective. That's what I want to see. That's the energy, dude. That's right. Where were you two rounds ago when I needed you for Super Mario RPG, man? All right. Here we go. Mario Maker versus both Mario Galaxies. Yikes. Yikes. All right, friends. Let's hear it for Mario Maker. Yeah! <laughs> All right. Let's hear it for Super Mario Galaxy. Yeah! Oh, shoot. Do some people over there yelling over here? Oh, man. Man, you guys don't even count. Get over here. I got empty seats over here, man. Get over here and fight for your game. That's right. He's literally coming over here. All right. I want to see a rematch. Because this guy really likes Galaxy. Rematch, Mario Maker versus Galaxy. We're, oh, there's only four left, friends, remember? Check this out. These are the last four. Okay, so here you go. Let's hear from Mario Maker. Yeah. All right, let's hear it for Galaxy. Yeah. Okay, Galaxy's taking it, man. Galaxy's taking it. Here's how you're going to convince me is if you get up out of your chair and you wave around. Bonus points if you do a backflip. All right, here we go. Mario Galaxy versus Odyssey. Ooh. Now, this is going to be Galaxy 1 and 2 versus Mario Odyssey, one singular game. But it's on Switch, and it's kind of cool. Mario Galaxy 1 and 2. Okay. Mario Odyssey. Okay, that's a little. Whoa. Oh, dang. Okay. Yo, dude did like a cool cartwheel flip. All right, friends. Here we go. It's the final round. We want the entire Expo Hall to know what you're fighting for. You're fighting for a single-player game called Mario Odyssey, throwing Cappy and then transforming into stuff, getting 999, uh, 999 moons versus all of the Smash Bros. games, right? We got a whole fighting area over here. This is Smash Bros. Brawl, Smash Bros. Melee, Smash 4, Smash Ultimate, Abdallah Smash, right? Easy. Here we go. Mario Odyssey, let's hear it. What? Smash Bros. Oh, shoot. Oh, man. Yes, he did it. Okay, friends, uh, who nominated Smash Bros? Or who got the credit for Smash Bros on that? Okay, cool. Come over to my booth afterwards. Friends, that's going to be it for our uh, tier list, ranking all the Mario games. Now, of course, if you guys like Mario games, how many of you guys like the side-scrolling Mario games 1, 2, and 3? How many of you guys like those games? How many of you guys are good at those games? Ooh, okay. Well, at 4 p.m. on stage over here, we're going to be taking the best of you guys that think that you can compete into Mario speed runs for some really cool prizes. On stage at 4 p.m., I'm going to be hosting it. Be there. Set your alarm. Say, hey, Siri, set an alarm for uh, 4 p.m., right? 
All right, other than that, my name is Abdallah. Thank you guys so much for hanging out. If you guys enjoy my content, consider subscribing. My booth is right over there in case you want to play me in Smash Bros. or Mario Kart, or just say hi and take a picture. All right, friends, have a great rest of your day. We'll see you guys next time. Take care.